All right, YouTube, Jason Andrews, the All-American Driver, and today I'm gonna to show you how I took this image and transformed it into this using artificial intelligence. So just yesterday, I was out in the Raptor and I came across the perfect spot to take a photo. I grabbed my camera, jumped out, and I snapped the pic. So when I got home, I was super excited, so I made an edit, and then the following morning, I posted it online, and who knew it would get over 800 likes? Now, combined with all those likes, I also got a bunch of comments saying, hey, how did you edit this? Did you use Lightroom? What LUTs were you using? And so I figured, why not just make a quick tutorial real quick on how I edited this shot? Now, for the past week or so, I've been learning about a new editing software called Luminar A. I. So I decided why not give it a shot on this photo. So I bought it, it's like $100, and then I got to work. So I opened up Luminar AI and I imported the photo. Now just by itself, the photo looks kind of bland. Obviously it's a cool truck in a cool location, so I had a good place to start. Now right off the bat, when you import the photo into Luminar AI, it gives you a couple suggestions for kind of scenes that, that automatically read the image and give you some suggestions on how it should be colored. So I found one that kind of works for the vibe of what I'm going for this photo. So to move on, I just went to the edit tab. So the first thing that I do, I always crop the image to one by one. You know, most of my photos that I'm taking are for Instagram. So go ahead down below and follow me on Instagram. So the image first was looking a little too blue for me. So I adjusted the temperature just slightly. And then I was just playing around with the curves, seeing what the different tabs did. So because this image was taken in the rain on like a gravel terrain, I did want to bring that out. So I, I did use a little bit of sharpening or they call, they call it structure. So I don't shoot with a circular polarizer yet. So to get rid of a lot of the reflections in the windshield, I always take down my blues and my teals. So after I got the photo kind of where I wanted to, it's time to go to the creative tab. And this one is really cool, okay? Because it uses artificial intelligence, it can kind of like 3D map your image um, so it can kind of tell depth. So basically I knew I wanted to bring some fog out into this. And uh, basically there's a tab right there that just shows you the amount and the distance. So basically you can watch the fog come from the back to the front, which is really incredible. So I put a little bit of fog in this photo. And then one of the coolest features is that you can add an artificial sun and because it's using the artificial intelligence, it, it will actually go behind objects, you know, like trees or buildings or things like that. So basically now I'm just kind of exploring to see kind of how the sun will look, where I want it, you know, it's kind of like a sunset vibe is what I'm going for, kind of golden hour, the sun is setting, just kind of peeking through the trees. So that's what I'm going for here. It takes me a while to figure out exactly how many sun rays I want, where I want them exactly, and then the tone of the, the sun itself. Once I got the sun kind of dialed in, basically it allows you to choose different LUTs that you want on the photo. So I just kind of click through them, see what worked for me. I found one that I, I liked, so I went with that. There's a tab that's called mystical, which kind of softens some things up here because there is a sense of fog running through. I used a little bit of that. So basically once I got the photo done in Luminar AI, I opened up Photoshop to just do a little bit of final touches. Like we talked about, I don't have a circular polarizer, so I really needed to, to bring down the reflections on the truck's windshield. So I just used the dodge tool and basically just darken that area a little bit. Once I was done in Photoshop, I ended up with something like this. So not too bad, right? I mean, for the first time kind of screwing around with this new program, uh, super impressed. You know, I, I, I'm still gonna use Lightroom and Photoshop for some things, but I'm definitely gonna be incorporating this uh, new program, Luminar AI, into my workflow. This video is not sponsored by them. I paid full price for this, uh, but I do think it's a powerful tool for creators. And it's not even made for car photography. You should see the things it can do with like sky replacement and face, like adjustment, change eye colors, things like that. It's a pretty crazy program. 
So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode.